Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and I want to walk you through setting up your Droid Incredible initially. If you bought this in the store, it'll probably already have been done for you, but it's a good thing to know anyway. So first thing you have to do is choose your language and now you're going to have to activate the phone with Verizon. It's going to make a quick call. It takes about a minute or two, so we're just going to skip past it real quick. You don't need to wait on it. And look at that, we're back. Alright, so the phone has rebooted after the initial activation and that's going to take a second. Now, a few things to keep in mind here. We're going to set up a Google account real quick, and I'm not going to actually set up Facebook and Flickr and Twitter, but you'll see where you do that, and I highly recommend that you go ahead and do that initially. It'll just save you trouble trying to find the settings later on. Oh, oops, I didn't log into Facebook. Well, if you do it right now, you'll take care of it, no problems. All right, so there's the Verizon splash screen. Cool, whatever. You'll see boot time is actually fairly quick, and this is immediately after a hard reset, so it's had to reload all sorts of stuff. All right, and we are now to the initial lock screen. So you will want to drag down. There you go. All right, so we're going to have to choose the language again. There we go. And now you get a little typing tutorial. If you've never used an on-screen keyboard, I recommend you go through it. So it says, all right, here's how you type. S-I-M-P-L. See, it starts giving you suggestions. Ooh, look at that. I can't type simpler. Well, that's not right, so I'll just type the word they suggested, and it will automatically put it in there. I'm going to skip over the rest of that, but you should go through it. Here's where you can set up Wi-Fi initially. I also recommend you do it here. So I want to connect to a mobile network or Wi-Fi that will turn 3G on as well as the Wi-Fi radio. And I need to add Wi-Fi network there. You see it has recognized my Wi-Fi and I'm just gonna pop down here so you can't see my password. Just good habit for getting into, right? P-A-S, no, that's not my password. All right, so it's connecting to my Wi-Fi and there I don't have to think about it ever again. Cool. Now we shall go to location consent. This is where it's basically warning you, hey, you know, you're turning on location services, so Google applications, whoever, will know where you are for search or for whatever purposes. There's a backup assistant. There's a Google account. Let's set up the Google account real quick. And it's really simple. It's just a matter of putting in your username and password. You can create a new one from this screen if you don't already have one, but I do. So I'll just put in Phil Nickinson. Note that you don't actually have to put the at gmail.com after your name here. It will do that automatically, so that's cool. So let me pop another password in here. P-A-S-S. -S. No, it's not password. Quit trying to guess. All right, there we go cool see how it already put the email in there nice little touch and sign in so this is gonna take a second although not all that long there we go set up accounts now so you can set up other accounts here if you want you can set up exchange you can set up another email if you have pop email um, through an ISP through somebody else whatever here's the backup assistant this will back up settings and the like I'm not actually gonna set it up here because I don't want it sorry all right, what else? Now let's flip on through. I said let's flip on through. Okay, there we go. All right, now here's where you set up your social networks, Facebook, Flickr, and Twitter. Go ahead and do it here. I recommend um, just so you're not wondering why something isn't working later, right? I save you a couple steps in the long run. I'm not going to bother doing it here. I think you can probably figure that out on your own. So now here we are about to actually go to the home screen for the first time. Takes a quick second to load up all the widgets and everything. And there you go. You get a little instruction on how to do the pinch to zoom to uh, pull up leap. We've seen that in other videos. So we'll just kill that out. And now you start seeing some of your icons. You see the little uh, refresh circle thingy up at the top? That means it's loading Gmail data right now. So it'll take a second and see you don't actually see any of it in that widget remember that's an HTC mail widget not the Gmail widget there is no Gmail widget on there by default so let's go into the Gmail app and see your email will appear shortly I had a ton of stuff in my inbox so it takes a couple minutes to load up all right everybody see ya